Electronics are complex manufactured items that contain up to hundreds of homogeneous materials. Undoubtedly, technology evolves rapidly, and engineers invent new patents every day, with new materials. What is the circuit board composition and the material composition of some of the most common passive and active electronic components? A bare circuit board composition is typically epoxy, copper, flame retardants, FR4, surface finish, HASL, ENIG, lead, gold, etc. Material composition of passive electronic components. There are many various types of resistors with different compositions. Carbon composition resistors, CCR. Metal film resistors, carbon film resistors, metal oxide film resistors, wire wound resistors, WW. Resistors are one of the most common passive electronic components. The function of resistors in a circuit is to resist the flow of electrical current. There are different types of capacitors based on their material compositions. Plastic film capacitors, ceramic capacitors, aluminum electrolytic capacitors, tantalum electrolytic capacitors, tantalum electrolytic capacitors, mica capacitors, paper capacitors. Capacitors are another example of passive electronic components. In electronic circuits, capacitors store energy in the form of an electrical charge and release it whenever required. There are different types of inductors based on the material composition of their cores. Air core or ceramic core inductors, iron core inductors, ferrite core inductors, ferrite core inductors, laminated core inductors. Inductors store energy in the form of a magnetic field when an electric current passes through them. They consist of conducting material, normally insulated copper wire, winding around a core. Material composition of active electronic components. Most active electronic components consist of semiconductors. The most commonly used material in semiconductors is silicon, C. Other semiconductor materials in electronic devices are, germanium, J. Gallium arsenide, gauze, silicon carbide, SIC. Gallium nitride, GON. Gallium phosphide, GAP. Cadmium sulfide, CDs. Lead sulfide, PBS. The table explains the structure of two types of transistors and gives examples of material compositions for bipolar transistors and field effect, unipolar, transistors. A transistor is a semiconductor electronic component that can perform either as an amplifier or a switch. Here you can find examples of material compositions of every element of a diode. The chip, lead frame, lead frame plating, bond wire, lead plating finish, and encapsulation. A diode is a semiconductor electronic component that allows the current to flow in one direction. Different elements in the structure of a diode consist of various materials. There are two types of electronic components, passive electronic components and active electronic components. Passive electronic components do not need an external power source to operate. The most common passive components are resistors, capacitors, and inductors. Active electronic components are fundamental components for the operation of any device. They require an external power source to supply and control energy in electronic circuits. The most common active components consisting of semiconductors are transistors, diodes, and integrated circuits ICs. Some of the materials in electronic components contain hazardous substances like heavy metals, lead, mercury, cadmium, etc. Brominated compounds, PBBs, PBDs, and other persistent organic pollutants, POP. Phthalate, BBP, DBP, DEHP, DIBP, and other plastic flame retardants. Per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFASs. Environmental regulations worldwide tend to restrict the use of these substances of concern. Rose on the restriction of hazardous substances in electrical and electronic equipment. EU reach with the substances of very high concern, SVHC, and the SCIP notification. California Proposition 65 Chemical List. The USTSCAPBT, Toxic Substances Control Act, addressing several persistent, bioaccumulative, and toxic substances in articles. Reach out to the Enviropass team for any questions regarding environmental compliance assessments of your electrical and electronic products.